Hey, welcome back again to new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel. This is Poco F3. Uh, the Redmi K40, uh, the Poco, sorry, Mi 11X custom ROM reviews. Back with HyperOS again. People asking me about to review this. HyperOS by EU 1.0.6.0. This is stable edition based on Android 13. You guys can see here. OS version again, Xiaomi EU 1.0.6.0. Android version 13. March security patch here. And kernel user is 4.19.157 kernel has been used here that's it and this is typical home screen and this is the apps i'm currently installed and some of them are pre-installed here like we'll start with the camera itself here you get MIUI kind of camera here nothing kind of any hyperos and in the video mode you only get 4k 30 here no 60 options in the settings it's look like this as you can see and gallery again i'll show some results later you get recognized text no table here and this are the home screen and app drawer in the home screen again you get dialer here it's a MIUI dialer you'll get call recording and other features too as you can see and tools you can see here security application is MIUI based again UI is smooth here, responsive. I haven't faced any issues. These are quick settings toggles. In the edit section, you will get all these other options. We will drag and add here first. Yeah. This is how typical control center, the latest one here. And some of the other apps like browser is pre installed again. You guys can check out. Now we will start some results here. Mi video is also pre installed. We'll show some results starting with the entity itself. 8 lakhs 10,684 was the score. What I got 1.8 degrees Celsius is the temperature raise, 5 percentage of battery has been dropped, and CPU, GPU, memory, UX scores are respectively these. And this is Geekpin 6.3.0 results 1132 is a single score, and 3204 is a multi score. And version 13 links 4.11.157 puff kernel has been used here. These all read rates, per, sorry. Basic integrity and CTS profile match getting passed and device is also certified and so you can use all the payment applications like this. No problem here and this is TRM information. It is showing Dolby Vision but SDI 10 support is there and level 1 certification. Watching OTT application is also not a problem and this oh, Bluetooth earphones and everything is working fine. You will get just update in the Bluetooth. Just make that update and it will be fine enough and i have 200 mbps atl fiber plan here it's pulling up to 220 which is good these are read rate display test with numericals and graphical and this is during charging i mean turbo 33 watt charging support you also get charging rapidly and hyper is theme as you can see this dynamic island is working fine here and you also edit the icon here yeah you can edit the icons as you can see that's there and plenty of them are given and if i even press and hold here you also get widgets here widget support is also there as you can see all around global and other widgets are also given here it takes some time to load for the first time and if i go into wallpapers again you also get these super wallpapers it will be applied directly no need to download them separately and also get these different kind of wallpapers here really good in my opinion again these lock screen customizations as you can see these are also the hyper style is given even though it's an android 13 rom you get all these options filter you get these got it meta effective font you can do okay apply also turn on always on display yeah this is how the lock screen looks like and you also see the always on display as you can see if you again double tap or press the power button this is how the lock screen looks like these are the hyper os changes majorly you will see in any rom and this is the settings panel as you can see smoothness is there again interconnectivity this all there and more you get all these options here necessary options all papers and personalization i already shown what i want to show is always on display you get these options for keep it always also that's there and number of plenty of these 
presets are given if you want you can do that manually i mean you can manually select the photos of your choice sound and touch again you get all these options sound effects dolby atmos is given graphic equalizer and all it's going to work fine i am really satisfied with the output here nothing complainable or anything like that even with the wired earphones using the connector and type c earphones yesterday i made a video check out that video guys regarding apple airports it's really really good check out the video and using bluetooth earphones also not a problem and good dual stereo speaker separation and everything is also fine here in the additional settings you get all these necessary options and touch options are given here haptic feedback level also you can adjust from here display and brightness dark theme implementation is also very good as you can see the smoothness in the UI is still there and screen brightness automatic brightness sunlight mode is given smooth and transitions also given color scheme you get plenty of options here adaptive colors and advanced settings like color gamut options you also get a refresh rate for default it is kept to 60 make it 120 a imagine engine you get both the options here and yeah coming to home screen again you get these necessary options here system navigation again gestures and this one animation speed arrange items and recents and show memory status those things are given as you can see the smooth transition everywhere i haven't faced any issues as of now and lock screen again you get all these necessary options like charging animation you can select them side panel shortcuts also you can select from here and coming to unlocking speeds here let me first do this one give it to touch here yeah now you guys can see the fingerprint unlock speeds are very much quick here to unlock your smartphone and even the face unlock as you can see it's also very much quick you can enable this stay on lock screen remove that now as you can see it's very fast as you can see you can't even see the lock screen that fast the face unlock is i am really satisfied with the unlocking speeds with this particular rom battery again you get these different modes battery checkup and all you will get it and additional features you get all these things catch a clear and 5g battery saver everything is given here and additional settings again memory extension up to 6 gb is given memory extension floating windows sidebar second space and all the necessary options are given quick ball gesture shortcuts again you get all these options like take a three finger screenshot and also you can assign some of the actions on double tap triple tap and double tap fingerprint sensor everything you can assign different gesture actions here and notification status bar again you get all this necessary option control center style if you want to remove these me smart up you will get this kind of quick settings toggles all the things are working fine guys i haven't faced any issues here even the app opening times are also really really good in this particular rom i haven't faced any issues the smooth and transitions and everything is really really good in my opinion let's see the bgma how it handles in this particular rom coming to graphic settings again you will get that smooth plus extreme only no extreme plus options here i hope they would have been given that but i don't know in the u roms you, die, you won't get those options you can use magic models and all here it will be going to work fine here Yeah, the gaming experience is good here. This is the volume panel that we can get. And this is the quick settings, toggles and notifications can be seen here. And level decrease, little bit of volume. You also get this gaming mode. Turn the performance mode, brightness and saturated enable. Clear some memory. Cast, turn off screen. Yeah, meanwhile I took the shot. And this one, make it bright and saturated. And here you get the brightness panel. Let's see how it actually handles now. Yeah, that was fine here. Even in the counter attacks, I haven't faced any issues. 
the rom is really good guys uh, i have no complaints here yeah what we gonna miss is something like ios tired of recent apps that kind of things so you'll miss it in this eu roms but it is very much stable it's kind of a stock rom but with some added features and good stability here good battery life also i haven't faced any issues regarding battery also if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section guys and if you are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also and like the video guys your one like may boost me a lot uh, we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now